Well, that was vomit, nearly. No, 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 it, not terrifying, uh, at all, not, not at all. Joins 
<laughs> Howdy, Disco. Hello. Yeah, he's the one that's rambling on about <laughs> One Piece in the background. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Tired. I'm all right. Done with, lights hurt. Done with people's shit. You have a butt chin. I can't I shave. No Bitch. Oh. Ah. I'm his roommate. Show me go get. Little guy in green shirt. Wait, did I run out of fuck? I ran out of honey. God damn it. Well, go piss off some more bees. I'll have to later. Hudson, I have one question for you. What's up? Bees. Bees? Bees? No, not yet. I have to beat the game once, else I had I had to pay for the DLC to do it to to do that. It's fine. It's not like I was saying shit to you. Fuck. Yeah, I know. I should not have made that yet. You know, I enjoy my cat the dating sense. I should not have made that yet. But I only have four! I know, that was a joke, Austin. It does give me five additional hearts, though, so... So don't be up to nine? I can. Uh, too bad uh, the, the golden hearts don't count for, um... The Master Sword? Yep. You need 13, buddy. I know, I know. Did you not beat this before? I... No, I restarted the game, remember? Ah. And I had... Technically, gotten pretty close to the end of the game, but I never actually finished. Finished, you know. Fighting Denim wasn't that bad. I figured not. Uh, not that far. I've literally only played uh for like a bit now. Um, I just got the quest for getting uh, memories back. That's my favorite way to describe Fire Emblem to people. Yeah. I mean, it's true though. Yeah, chess for baby them. The way to go. It's like playing chess for pieces you care about. Our <laughs> 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 final way, it's not fates. True. I did warn you. <laughs> this boss we gave you to start with awakening for a reason. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I plan on doing master mode. <laughs> That's good. Because I, I will say, like, once you figure out, like, how everything works in the game um 
it definitely becomes a lot easier. A dame without a challenge is a dame not worth playing. True. If you don't feel the compass beating a boss, then you have the compass not <laughs> Why don't I drive and die? It's not really a soul fault, it's more of a I stood there with my magic and blasted the rubble and then ran through and then blasted the rubble and then ran through until I got to the ballista. And then there's one bit where you're supposed to run up and break it, but I found the perfect angle to hold down my machine gun fireball spell and just boop 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 break the rubble and sprint up and sprint down. Gotcha, I actually have not. This was my first Zelda game. Yep. We got Wind Waker on the GameCube. Haven't played it. That, that, that would mean yeah. informing you that it's I know. right there. I know. So we could drop the GameCube up but, into your computer. I, but I don't know if I could. I might. Does it have, mm, does it have uh, HDMI? Or the GameCube. I don't, I don't remember what it has. So, because I remember the, SN the SNES has the video cords, which you need to have an adapter in order to run it. This is just nuts. That is a good pun. I'm, I'm the one who's played all the Zelda games. Sauteed nuts. Sauteed some nuts. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I haven't played all of them, but I played 90% of them. <laughs> Skipping doesn't actually skip that much. Yeah, on the list of ones I haven't played. I don't need to. Uh, well, I played Spandam Hourglass, uh, Spirit Traps, Four Swords, Four Swords Adventures, which is the DS one. Wind Waker, Ardrina, Twilight, Link to the Past. Bananas and meat go well together. The original Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda 2. <laughs> Link's Awakening, Link's Between Worlds, yep, I played that one. I recommend, uh, we, you have a 3DS that can do the thing, see if you do the Link's Awakening on it. Specifically the deluxe version, which I think is the only one you can buy, because it's the one that was released for DS Color. <laughs> Well, got another full recovery one. I mean, I have to beat the original Zelda, but I got pretty close back when I had a copy of it. Turned it on Dame Boy, so I have to find my Dame Boy. series has really come a long way. Oh, Skyward Sword. I played Skyward Sword. Oh. I enjoy Link Between Worlds. I think. Yeah, I beat that one really fast. <laughs> any of the auto dance. I have. I have that on 3DS actually. I don't have the original dance. What? Is that a 
a lot of salt. <laughs> Did you just take a bunch of rock salt? <laughs> Did you just... <laughs> lost it. You yeah. salty bitch. <laughs> Save the salt for pasta. Uh, uh, <laughs> fucking bastard. You threw it in his fucking ass tonight. Oh, that was funny. Good. I do have nothing there. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, oh, that's a little much. Yeah. It's almost like you don't have that much stamina yet. Shut up. What's your personal theory for Majora's Mask? I can't, I can't really be involved in the conversation because I've never played him. Yeah, it's up on my ass. I don't know. Essentially. Repeat, I right, said, so what's your theory for Majora's Mask? Like, the reason it happens. There's, there's a theory that Link is dead and all the dungeons are him going through the cycle of grief. Beginning with rage with the first one, followed by uh, depression, followed by bargaining, followed by. I can't remember what the represents. And then the tower one being acceptance. And with that link, that link being the one in Twilight Princess who teaches you attack the hero that's dead. If you didn't know. That's how that whole thing connects. So the Golden Wolf in Twilight Princess that takes you to the hero is actually Link from Ocarina and Majora. Such a weird order if you know what you're doing. And then offering the time also introduced Master Quest. Which reverses everything and flips the dungeons into weird new puzzles. Master Quest is fun. I beat it on Master Quest. Does Master Quest does Master Moose flip the map around on this one? I don't think so. Does Master all of like the Master Mode and the previous one? Right. I guess that would be some for Disco. I don't think it does. But it could be wrong. Hey, uh, Disco, does the map get flipped in Master Mode? Uh, original Prime Trilogy, uh, what Metroid are you talking? Fusion? Hunters. I haven't beat Prime 2 or 3 primarily because of last year's ability to play them at the time they came out. Alright. I played the original. I played Samus Return. I haven't played Zero Mission. 
Yeah, I haven't played other yet. You're a bitch ass up. Why are you, why are you getting so attractive? That'll be for another night. Oh, when you have to run him through. <laughs> if I can. You can't, Austin, to do as it takes. I know, that's why it's magic. Uh, you know if you probably can't cook any I cannot cook any more meals. You know what thing he'll do, yeah? No. Oh, because you killed him fast enough last time. <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave you to the streamer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, side scrolling games are definitely uh, something, something new to do. Something, yes. That's a rock, child. <laughs> I have not played Metro at all. I'll be honest, I came very late to the uh, Nintendo scene besides the Switch. Or not Switch. Um. Super Nintendo, which which is one of the older ones, um, and the only reason why I play the Switch is because it's actually uh, Dojax. Yeah. I have played the N sixty four. Thank you for the pumpkin. Uh, but yeah, um, most, most, I, I grew up playing uh, Super Nintendo and then past that, I didn't really play any of the games that, that a lot of people did. I didn't get, like, like I didn't get a a console until the PlayStation 4 and even then like, like I, I played a, ever when I got that that's when I started playing a lot more games um, but now nowadays I kind of I've kind of been playing a lot of the games that I used to play a lot uh, like for example I uh, played a lot of the DS games I used to play. Uh, another go. That was the first DS we released. Jesus. Bro, you need to calm the fuck, calm the fuck down, bro. Um. 
Yeah. I did play a bit on the DS. Um... Ah, there is a chicken up here. What is that? Why the hell is a map up here? Oh. Yeah. I, I like Nintendo, but they're. I, I like the games that Nintendo has. However, their exclusivities and shit kind of get on my nerves. Very similar to uh, PlayStation's. Yeah, I I really like a lot of their older stuff, but they they're so against emulation that it's really hard to get into it. Among the other Nintendo consoles, I'd say it's above the Wii, but for nostalgia factor and the fact that it doesn't break uh, the. Super Nintendo is probably my p personal favorite, but that's probably just because I still can play that if I really wanted to, to this day. Like, I could just hook it up to it and play it. Um, yeah, the GameCube, N64, and all the... Uh, yeah, they definitely have more shelf life. That's it's definitely a good way to put that. Yeah. Well, like the the Wii was the first the Wii was the first Nintendo console that I had after besides like Game Boy because Game Boy was less of a console, and more handheld device. Um, but where the fuck is this other chicken? The, the problem with the Switch is the fact that, while it is portable, it sacrifices in a lot of other areas like stability and shelf life. Because the Joy-Con drift and all that, it just, it really just puts a damp it, damper on the mood. Because you have to deal with the fact that it's not performing as you want it to be performing. I mean, I still have a Super Nintendo. Fuck are you, kicky bastard? Huh? 
Yeah, it, it has way too many issues to be truly great. Definitely good. And it has some good games on it, like Three Houses and um, Breath of the Wild. It has some really good games on it. Yeah, the, the Oleo is, is just like a better screen, and if you're playing it on TV anyway, it was going to look good anyway. Because it has a lot of backlog games, but it doesn't have its own personal library truly yet. Besides, like, Breath of the Wilds and Three Houses, Odyssey. The portability is the biggest selling quality of this console. But when your fucking Joy-Cons break, that's not exactly a good thing. Yeah, which is why fucking Valve coming out with the stream deck is fucking amazing because it's quite literally just the Switch, but better what the Switch should have been in the first place. Like, the Stream Deck actually looks like something that I would put a lot of money into. Because it has not only great tools for emulation, but it has a great screen and good controllers.
I'd say five and a half. Just from my own personal experiences with it. Because when I first was playing this game over a year ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, I mean, this one's one of the original ones. So it doesn't run as good as the newer ones. Yeah. When I was first playing it like a year and a half ago, this game a year and a half ago was... There was the, always a joy, the Joy-Con drift, so I had to switch off of the the controls that I had set and set for for bow and arrow, um, because quite literally it would always just turn to the left, always. Yeah, it was awful. And then you just buy a new fucking controller, and that would only last for a few weeks, if that. I do want to go and grab that eventually, that, that, that shrine eventually, but I get shit to do. The online still sucks to this day. It's one of the main reasons why I don't play Super Smash Brothers with my buddies. Because I used to do that a lot. Um, actually, um, Joysticks, which is a buddy of mine, and I would, he would make videos of the two of us just playing Smash together. And we kind of stopped because it was just so awful the online oh, experience hello friend oh thanks for the follow disco so i stick around There is no Joy-Con drift. They're all just fucking crazy. Oh yeah, and then there's a... Uh... Uh... Fucking... Animal Crossing, that that game. Well, don't keep us in suspense. How'd everything go up there on the mountain? So you didn't feel anything? No power at all? I'm sorry now. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Maneru. Anything could finally spark the power to steal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking mm. for that thing. That's kind of you. Thank you. If I may. I thought you... Well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm feeling... You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think... When I think about... <laughs> <laughs> Ravali, you're an asshole. Nifa, best champion. Though I do have a soft place in my heart for the big boy. And then Umbra's just fucking hot. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
but total lesbian Let's vibes. Stop wasting time. We're gonna need everything we got to take that thing down. Or Bosa, yes, champions. sorry. Is Umbra the, the new champion? Swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy, you get the high rule castle. You can count on us for support, but it's up to you to pound Ganon into oblivion. Come, we should go. We need Ugh, to get you I must be stupid then. Cause I know Umbra is just Latin no. for dark. I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use on the battlefield. But there must. There must be something I can do to help. League? I don't know anybody named Umbra. Blech. I'ma go fuck with death. I'm gonna save here real quick. Cause I'm fucking with death. Oi! Bitch boy! Quit being a pain in my fucking rear air! Hey! Oi you! Cunt! Oh that's not good. Fuck! <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> well, that's not good. Fuck you. Oh, I fucked that up. Shit! Shit! Well, I made food for a damn reason. I'm sure as hell gonna fucking use it. Uh oh, uh oh, no, no, get away! Oh, that's not the right button. Hello. Aha, fucker. Hey, bitch boy. Fuck you. I did it again. Lose the leaf. Oh, fuck. That, that doesn't work, you asshole. <laughs> Wait, he's regenerated. That's not fair. Oh, well. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Mount up, bitch. Uh oh. I'm trying, man. I did the wrong way. Owie. I kind of assumed that I'm dead now. There we go. I do have a lot of fairies. <laughs> That's why I said I was going to go fuck with them. I just don't have the damage.
Set today to do an interview. Hello. Oh fucks. Oh no 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 no! You don't see me, Lionel. Fuck off. Fuck off, bitch. Hey, Allison. I'm trying to up what happened to you. Oh yeah. People are fucking dumb. Fuck them. I yeah. I don't really know. I don't really know what his problem was. But. Sorry, I Gaining find... the respect of my co-workers, priceless. One I of think. the gargoyles just killed himself by flying into the elevator and getting crushed by it. I tried to fuck with the first line all that you find and got my ass whipped. Well, that's what you did for being a fucking idiot. I wanted to try it, see if I could. Because I remember, like, it's all about dodging and parrying. And I and, fucked around uh, and died and lost all seven of my damn fairies. Austin? You yes. fucked around and you found out. I did. That's what Weeb said. You got you gotta do math. Okay? Yeah. Ah, yeah, Weeb. Same wavelength. Yeah, your weapons don't do enough damage to kill him. I know. No matter how much you dodge, the simple fact is the numbers aren't in your favor. Yeah. So, um, I tamed an extra bird just in case someone needed it. Right. Fucked up the tame a little bit, but it's oh. still level 60. Okay. I'll probably take it if no one else needs one. If I find a level one, I'll probably attempt to tame it as well. But mm -hmm. I'm doing, I went all the way up to the fucking snow biome, got oil, and I'm flying my happy ass back. <laughs> I have almost... 200 oil. Nice. And for one run. I could have gotten more, but I fucking had too much shit in my inventory. Right. But because originally I was just scoping out for dinos. I didn't expect to just beeline it for the fucking snow biome. By the time I got there, I was like, well, shit. I'm here. I might as well get something from the I have fucking a, rip. I have a few meals that have hearty radishes in. Ah, I should have fucking ate the armor food oh well no, 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 no. you still would have got your ass kicked the motherfucking i need to collect line. enough um rupees to unlock the second fairy shrine i also just need to do shrines in general at this point because i need yeah. more health yes you do four hearts is not enough to do the things you are trying to do i definitely don't have enough money to talk to the terry town folks yet to buy my house back and start the Terry Town twice line. Nope. The best twice line. Oh yes, it's the lady that that can move shit. Oh, Pat, and I was talking to Josh, and um, I told him that I'll let the players pitch their own magic items, but I get the final say of what rarity it is. Mm -hmm. And if you bring a god weapon. I'm gonna say, uh uh, uh uh, that's not doing 10d6, it's doing 4d6. Go fuck yourself. Mm -hmm. What about 15? Will you take 15? Sure, if you take half. Deal. Alright. HP is optional if the opponent is dead. Watch it be resistant. Huh? Takes half, immediately kill self, boss, fine. Final boss is just gonna be resistant to everything. Jacob, how do you feel about suicide bombers? Um, uh, I'm gonna ask why before answering that question. Tempest. Tempest. <laughs> He's a dying hardcore leveling warrior who, up until very recently, his solution to problems that he couldn't win was to blow himself up. <laughs> Which, coincidentally, him blowing himself up and dying buffs all of his allies. Because he does it so many times. Wait, you know, the, wait, oh fuck, wait a second. No one talks about it, but Tempest and Tat would have made a great team. I'm out of my damn fairies. God damn it. I'm actually slightly mad about that, because I'm also out of what? my weapons that I had. Oh, fuck it. 
Stick your ass down, bitch. Leave me alone. But nah. Be fun. Yeah, Centipets and Cat would have made a great combo. Probably. Yeah. Cat Cat's ability props when a friend dies. That's fair. But he'd have what to is Tempest good at? He'd have to consider Tempest a friend. I said, if they ever, like, did a team up, and they were friends, yeah. Dad and Tempest. The unstoppable. I don't want to shit rage, because I fucked around and found out. You right. Mm -hmm. I had that seven fairies that I fucked around up. and died with. Oh, are you are you in that area where you have to take pictures of the line hole? Uh, steal the uh. No. Okay. You're not doing thunder arrow collecting yet. Not yet. Great up. Hear me out here. It's a magic item that's already been homebrewed. It's a bow of anything. When you pull the string back and fire, a random object is launched at the enemy. God, what if it's the halfling? A, a random object. Uh, one not tied down. A random object in the room. Yes. Or in the area. Okay. <laughs> like, you know, tree bench. <laughs> I was just, I was just like... <laughs> oh, dear God, just a random object? Throw a fucking boat at a man? What the fuck? <laughs> I, I mean, mean if both the only thing there. It, it, it could. It'd be funny. You'd have to roll that 20. <laughs> Perfect. It is you something. Know. He he, ba he basically said yes without saying yes. No, you know. no, that was yes. <laughs> it, it's a fun ranged weapon. Kaboom! Bit off. Comes with no arrows. <laughs> the only thing that cannot be fired out of the bow is arrows. <laughs> Strangely enough, <laughs> that's its curse. Like, you like, oh yeah, I'd like to buy a bow and a quiver. And then you get to it and like, wait, I, why can't I fucking fire these arrows? What the fuck? And then you're like, fine, let me try, th let me, I'll just fucking shoot it normally, see if it'll pull the arrows or some shit. Fucking just pulls a random object out, you're like, huh, that's weird. I dodged. I hope I have enough health to survive this. I don't. I do. Oi. Oi. Octopus Bitch. Face. Fuck off. Oh, he killed me. I'm gonna run by him next time. I don't like by him. I hit time. me. Give me that stick. Give me your stick. Fuck. My stick now. Haha. Yeah. That's that's one of my favorite homebrewed magical items I've found in existence. Hey, it's my stick now, huh? How do you think about that, huh? I'm gonna put away all of my taming shit. And then I'm gonna find all the creatures I've been wanting to tame. Alright. Hey, uh. Up. So, hypothetically, if a grenade is f thrown at us... ...with the bow... Would you fire the grenade bat if you did lucky? Yes. Could you imagine that? They throw a grenade and it comes flying back at them fastball speed. Oh god, did you see that? There's a video where um, this dude's older, older or younger sisters, I don't know which, um, during his graduation party messed with his cake. And so, what this guy does is proceed to fastball pitch this cake into his sister's face. I've seen that! And that's all I can think of now, after the bow. What a... Oh shit. Question, what shape are the grenades in your world? Are they like... Ah, uh, they're... It depends on the grenades, because there's um, going to be a couple of types. But right. the frag grenades are what we would think of. Ah, so I was curious if you went the old school, I can't remember what war it was, but when they drafted a bunch of baseball players, so all the grenades are shaped like baseballs. 
Uh, I, think that was, I think that was both World War One and Two. Yeah. So you know, a pitcher with a ninety mile per hour throw to yeet a grenade. Yeah, because the reason they designed the grenades the way they did was because it was believed that every boy at some point would have thrown a baseball. Mm -hmm. uh, could you I have not played Earthbound, but I've heard it's good. Whoopsies? A little bit weird. But could you imagine a 98 mile per hour grenade flying at you? <laughs> Glorious. Make that fucker an impact. <laughs> What are, what are they going to do? Dodge? Whoopsies. Okay, I made a fucky wucky. Yeah, I heard that. Can, can your impact grenades be scraped by baseball? Yeah, sure, why not? I think that would Yeah, be Nintendo, Nintendo is very like, Oh, we are very protective of RP. Then make another game. No! Fuck you, game. What, uh, what was very, uh, what was the fucking what you did? Uh, you didn't see it? No, I'm not watching the film at the moment. I made, I made a mistake of, like, I accidentally double tapped the bomb thing. So oh, I pulled out a bomb, then immediately exploded it. Instead of dropping it and then running away, then exploding it. I see. Austin, I can't play Demon Souls without looking at the screen. That's fair. I'm not that good yet. But... Nope, 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 nope. Shit, you're doing your stopping. Goodbye. Ha, oh, I made a parachute. Oh, shit, he shot me in the ass. I was around the corner. So, fun fact with these spells if you start casting one and then you lock onto an enemy, your spell will take a 90 degree turn towards the enemy. <laughs> Oh, fun. But I think we could come up with some pretty nifty magical items for your J-Top. It's not for me, it's for you. Bonk. Who says you can't use them? Goodbye. What was the, that ones, the ones I make are <laughs> <laughs> for the guys you're fighting. Yeah, you know, pit one off, off a time we fought. I swear to you, not all of them will be memes, but that bow I just love for the sheer randomness of it. Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Do, do, do. Shibu. What is the lightest member of our party? Um, would it probably the monk? I was gonna say, would it technically be Elias since he can, he does not have a stable shape, a state shape of mass. Uh, I mean, born mass Elias at someone. I think it'll be just be an asterisk. Can throw willing creatures. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Hear me out here. Um. I may, this. may may change my <laughs> mind on that then. Hear, hear me out here. Farkas. <laughs> oh yeah, Farkas. Is a druid. Yes. What if he holds his action to be flinged by the bow to use a wild shape into a creature? Oh god. I have to look at it, but I'm assuming I'll like it. <laughs> uh, what- what is the CR for well? I'm- I- I think it's pretty high. Uh, my- what I think is the most unappreciated Nintendo game, personally, is Fossil Fighters. It did this sequel. Did it? Yes! Oh. Was it bad? I don't fucking know, I never played it. 
So I know it got a resurgence when Jaden did a video on it. Okay, so a killer well has a CR of three. Bullshit. Oh, it's oh. only got 90 HP. He still has to be level nine. Yeah. 90 HP. Uh, it's only tapable. Uh, hold on. I need to be in a spot where I'm not being murdered to continue reading. I died in a murder spot because I was reading. Nothing seems to be aggro to me at the moment. I spoke too soon. Hello, enemies. <laughs> it's stuck that. on each other. All right. I, so, I, lo I love shit like that. Like, like nothing the, seems to have aggroed on me. I have spoken too soon. So the well has echolocation. It can't use its blind sight while deafened. So it's got 120 blind sight. It can hold its breath for 30 minutes, and it has advantage on wisdom perception checks that rely on healing. It only does 5d6 plus 4 damage a hit. Tell a well, stat block. Extremely disappointing! Not surprised. There's not a lot. They don't have a lot of games in the water. I'll be honest. I've learned one thing. 98% of the things that involve the word water and D&D suck unless you know your DM. <laughs> Alright, boys. Next game is Waterworld. Ah, I see, Again? I see. Have you seen the movie Waterworld? Oh. I thought you were talking about... No, I'm an <laughs> actual fucking Waterworld. There should be like... Four fucking villages, and the rest of it's just gonna be water. Isn't that kind of what the realm of water was? It was more than four. We visited a lot of places, but uh... a lot of places we never actually got to go to. Like the fact that my my character was supposed to be the fucking second coming of the apocalypse we when didn't he go to when that. when he was originally uh, born, and then he escaped his destiny, quote unquote. By, by are you sure about that? Yeah, and then and then well that that was the symbolism of it, of his uh of the tat of the birthmark getting cut by the bear when he when he that as the first mission as a druid when he came back in, into into the the plane and then when we went into the the uh, fucking the the Triton place they made it like oh shit. Fuck that guy. And I'm like, what did I fucking do? I know nothing about my people. I was grazed by humans. Mario mm -hmm. Strikers? Ooh, ooh, son of a whore. Josh, don't you play Mario Strikers? Or am I crazy? No. No, I don't. Because you don't like it, or...? I don't own it. Oh. I have no healing items on my hot bar. I have them in my inventory. But to access my inventory, I can't pause the game, so I must run. Hmm. Evade it. Oh, I died. But yeah, kill a well, not that impressive unless you drop one on someone. Radio man. Oh. See you later. Oh, someone did a homebrew blue well, which has a CR of 12. Mmm, that's better. Probably just for the size. Relatively harmless. Uh, it's got plus 12 to hit and does D 10 D10 a bite. It doesn't have teeth. It has bristles. Have you ever heard of blunt force trauma? It's bludgeoning damage. It also grapples you with the bristles. Oh, it's gonna give you it good can cleaning. grapple four large creatures, 16 medium, or small, and a thousand tiny. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why? Why is it that specific? I feel like this guy was just like, hmm. 
I want to grapple everything. <laughs> I, I'm I'm feeling this guy. Is, I want to grapple God. Uh, like the, what I'm feeling is this guy is like, hmm, ever heard of Vor? Yes, the nuts that have to swallow. Spits D6 acid damage around. All can swallow any number of tiny creatures at a time, and they if the well takes 30 damage from a single solid peach and a single turn from a solid creature, it makes a DC 16 con saving throw. Or it regurgitates every creature it's swallowed within 30, and they fall prone within 30 feet of the well. Hmm. If it dies, the solid creature is no longer restrained by it and escapes from the corpse using 60 feet of movement, exiting prone. Jesus. If you put pepper in its mouth, the force if releasing pepper in the well mouth of the well forces it open to open its mouth and release every grappled creature. That's interesting. This is a homebrew well. It has two hundred and forty six HP and a hundred twenty swim speed. It's only two hundred and sixty? Yes, 40 sets, Austin. Oh. I could still do that in two rounds. Most things, Dan. It's why it's a CR12. It's still... It's still too good. It can also survive on three hours on land, and after that it takes one bludgeoning every turn. That's an extremely slow and painful way to die. Unless you give it fly speed. Huh? So, it's, it says it's damage it takes on land is because of its weight. That's... Yeah, what this about is the, really... What about the fact that it's drying out? This is a really weird homebrew well. I remember batting creatures can hold their breaths equal to the con for quite some time. But no, he... he whales uh, breathe, breathe air. oxygen. It's the fact that they dry out, usually. Yeah. That kills and then, them. uh... It's got 24 strength, 18 con, 6 intelligence, 14 wisdom, 7 charisma, and 10 deaths. Hmm. You can't paralyze it. Why? I don't know. That's oddly specific. And I've always loved and hated oddly specific. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Some, some of these D and D some of these homebrews get super specific. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm back. Hey, J Top, have you ever heard of the spell "fuck that die in particular? No, I'm not. It's a homebrew spell. When you cast it, oh, it taught it a random person at any range. The side is that anyone who cast it again within five minutes, it strikes that same person again with lightning. <laughs> Alright, that's that's fucking funny. I know, I love it. I'm currently looking at homebrew weapons on the D and D witty. Then another oil run for another two hundred and fifty oil. Cause my bur I would have gotten way more, but my carry capacity is higher than my bird's carry capacity right now, and I actually need to fly home. So. As his the first homebrew I decided to click on. It's Azriel's Rapier. Okay? There's one D eight piercing damage and one D eight fire damage. The user must be neutrally aligned to the fat that comes to everyone eventually. The number of these that exist are determined by the DM. It's legendary, apparently. 
If the deity that the wielder of the sword serves is pleased with the actions, it grows blue and deals an additional d8 fire damage. Only the deity who bless this word with this bonus can remove it. A wish spell can be used to remove the bonus, but cannot be used to grant the bonus. The bonus is not retained if the current user dies, loses a sword, or gives it away. It gives off 20 to 30 feet of dim light, of, um, yeah, dim light. Dim light becomes bright light and darkness becomes dim light. All creatures within the circle of the edge to illuminate the area when it's, dark, when it's drawn. So, yeah. Neat. Neat! Why is it legendary, Jacob? I don't know. It does 3d8 damage if your god likes you. That's if. That, that doesn't strike me as a legendary weapon. That strikes me as... Rare? Yeah. Even then, that's... Oh. Okay, this one. The legendary revolver. It's called Black Death. It never gets dirty, it always maintains a pristine, polished appearance. Uh, appearance. Light refuses to reflect off of its surface, and the mechanisms for using it make no sense at all if you look at them. Its cylinder has no chambers, and there's no way for it to be loaded. By wielding Black Death, you do use your action to fire it. If you do so, a 300 foot long line of black energy, one foot wide, erupts from the dawn. All non-magical objects are automatically obliterated. Magical objects are not artifacts are disabled for one turn as if it was an anti-magic field. All creatures make a DC 20 death save or take 10d10 force damage on a fail. Oh, you see, that's a legendary. That! I like that, though, Jacob. And here's the thing. You can only fire it once per day. I mean, actually, because, you know, because of its ability, it might even be, be considered an artifact. I might mess with that. Because what, what I plan to do for artifact class weapons, it'll be like, okay, you have to do, you know, you have to spend the crafting time of a legendary, but... You gotta do quests to get certain specific parts. There's the link for it. Oh, I'll take a look at that later. I'll fuck with that. It also continues to smoke for one minute during which it cannot be fired again. Once this property is used, you cannot... It has been used, it cannot be used again until the next dawn. Yeah. Weird that they have a minute cooldown like... for something you can't shoot again until the next dawn? Well, I think it's like the gun has to cool down for a minute before you can pull the trigger. Ah. I think is what it's saying. Ah, yes. I like that one. Blade of Jumanji, nah. Oh, this is interesting. I don't know why it's considered a legendary, though. It's a rapier that's plus one. Whenever you're hit with a magical weapon, whenever you hit a creature with this magical weapon, they made a DC 18 con saving throw. At the end of your turn, if they fail, you gain resistance to the damage type that they are resistant to of the weapon deals one additional D6 damage based on the damage type you gain for a minute. That doesn't seem that good. Oh! J Dub. Look at this. 
I'm, I'm sending I'm almost it. at base, so give me a sec. Yeah. It's a blink dart blade. It's rare. It's a dagger that's crafted with the jaw of a blink dart and made out of obsidian. Whenever the dagger hits a target or an object within its attack range, the thrower may choose to use Misty Step as a bonus action to dip within 5 feet of the hit target. The action does not break stealth if no damage is applied. If you throw it and choose not to blink, it returns to its sheath automatically. Oh, that's pretty cool. I do like it though for the ability to teleport. Oh god, if we had a barbarian, I might suggest this one. It's called the Blitz Creed. It's a great axe. So it has three charges. You roll a d6 to determine the feature. Each day. It can either be burning, where you use a charge to set a creature on fire and it takes 1d6 fire damage at the start of each of its turns. It must make a DC 15 dead save on a failed save. It takes the D6 on a successful, it ends. Oh, it has one that does lightning and gives it disadvantage on its uh, first one. It's built for barbarians, though. It looked neat. Oh, this is there. neat. I'm just gonna I keep sending know. you neat things I find. Not a lot. This one's categorized as a miniature explosive. A min miniature explosive, you say? Interesting. It's a smoke bomb, a paralytic gas. Oh, no one's being on, so... Figure is belonging to the Dreaden type of resistance what? to all the weapons attached to the weapon. Yeah, maybe. Alright. Hmm. Oh, I do like some of these homebrew guns. Like this one. It's oh, a flintlock. Yeah. And it earns its right as a legendary. Wait. That's 12 charges. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, this would be artifact. <laughs> the uh which one? The flint lock? The flint lock. Yeah. But it, it lets you cast so many fucking spells. It earns its right though as a high tier weapon. 
some of these legendaries are actually pretty lackluster in all honesty. And I like how it gives non-casting classes a chance to use a spell. Oh! Okay, I don't know how I feel about the placement of this weapon. It's a revolver called Golds and Riches. When it, you attack, you roll an additional d6 to the, with it. And you gain one of the following effects. On a 1, you add 20 gold to your inventory. On a 2, it fires gold out instead of bullets, and they must make a DC 14 wisdom save not to pick up the gold. Okay. 3, the gun fires normally. 4, you have advantage on the attack roll. 5, you the bullet turns into gold and you add 5 damage. 6, you take an extra attack. They rate that as very rare. Let's think on that one. I thought it was kind of eh. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But that's why I said I'd have to think on it. Yeah. Alright. Uh, options. I'd say all. I want two beds and a storage suit. I see. Afternoon. That has a lot to read, so we're not going to read at all. Oh. Looking for Ooh, Jacob, these are nice. Who is this? Hey, Randy. Hello. I'm sending homebrew thanks to J-Top. Hey, it's mm. good you're here, because I was going to talk to you in a little bit after I got back from the gym. Can I use you as a reference, because we worked together and we're not friends? <laughs> we're not Twitch friends. Twitch is like, they can't be your friends, but... I worked with them. I mean... 
I suppose the only thing, the only reason I wouldn't use me as a reference is because I don't answer my phone. They send you a text and you just fill a thing out. Okay. Cool. That, yeah, that, sure. That, that. If, if they're just going to send me a text, yeah, sure. But if they call me, I probably won't fucking answer. They it. won't call you. Did I hear Andrew? Yes, I did hear Andrew. Oh my god, hi! <laughs> don't. that? <laughs> I'm streaming. You can do that later in the bedroom, just not right now. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I have energy to dive over there for that. Sorry. <laughs> it's only 11 o'clock, Austin. Don't Keep worry about it. We... Yeah, we're going to the gym. Hmm. Alright. Hey, 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 Jacob, do you remember that thing I was trying to build? What thing? Nothing. That's very indescriptive. Yeah, very uh, indescriptive. Uh, you, you'll see when I send you the link. Oh, so I don't get to see the thing? Secret. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the mountains. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Yeah, it's about time for us to head for the gym. I'm just sending Jade up on brew weapons I found, and we found a couple good ones and a lot of light luster. So many light lusters. Black lusters? Yeah, like that, so they. Ezreal's Rapier, Sword of the Archangel of Death, Legendary Item, 3d8 damage. If your god likes you, otherwise it's 2d8. That, does that sound like a legendary item? Austin? It sounds fine. So I'm trying to, but to be classified as legendary. Yeah. Yeah. My you considered my weapons to be legendary, remember? Yes, but you also dual wield them. Yeah. I took into account the pair. And you guys do four D sets. Together. The same damage. Yeah. How but, I, what, well to be actually there's also the one D eight. Yeah. Or, yeah, because it's a D8 radiant slash. Bonus. That's right. Technically it. 2D8 as well. And 4D6. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, never mind. You make a great point. Thank you. Did you see the thing, Jacob? You want me to allow you a railgun? I mean, I, I've been talking about making a handheld one for a while. He has. I've been listening. It's been terrible. A while is an understatement. It's been like a year. Yeah. It's an impressive idea. And someone actually homebrewed one that's not that bad. <laughs> ah, Josh. What? Do you think I was going to stop? This list is massive. I'm only in the T's. <laughs> And I'm only sending you the neat ones. The rest of these. And I need some work. Some of them. Oh, some I found of them. the end. Why the f. So. The bottom one starts with an F because there's a quotation mark. There we go. I did the thing where I'm not quite a hundred percent sure where I parked my bird, but I know it's around here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Great. Now it's raining. Well, I'm trying to climb a mountain. 
Oh, it's my favorite pastime. I hope you fall for your sarcasm. Always do. There, yeah, there goes that shit. Yeah, just scroll through the entire D and D witty of homebrewed magic items. I sent you how many, J Top? Yes. One. Seven. Seven of them. I classified as good enough to send. One, I Why think. Why do you like... have to start raining? It does. I just want to get to the top of the fucking Two Peak Mountain. I'll wait for the weather to change. How? Stand and talk? I don't know. Hey Patton, you know those little, uh... Well, you, we normally just kill them for meat, because they're... Dodos? You know. No. The li like, lictosaurs? Lictosaurs. Um... They're, they're the passive tames that you... That are around and give you no know, decent amount of meat. Mm, I'd have to look at them. But anyways, yeah, um, they're very fucking tiny, but they make... I don't know, fucking stamina. Um, they're bloody tiny, but, um, apparently, they lay, lay extra large, they lay large eggs. Hmm. That must be painful. Which means they make tier 4 kibble. Oh. It's kind of hard to make a fire when you, when it's raining. <laughs> that doesn't sound like Boy Scout talk. This is a video game, Josh. Apparently you're in a SpongeBob. Make fire in the rain, Austin. I believe in you. The boss female. Me. I also need to get a male. Oh, and the really no, cool thing is, about these guys, apparently, if you pet it, it'll give uh, nearby dinos an XP boost. Really? Yeah, something... I it's didn't not physics, know. that's just science. Wet wood does not burn. You sure about that? Not with that attitude. I've done it. It fucking sucked, but I've done it. Yeah, with enough gasoline, anything's po possibly burnt. I fucking wish I had gasoline. <laughs> yeah. Still on batteries for me. I started a fire with wool and batteries. We were on a winter survival camp out. Mm -hmm. I think we learned it at the same camp out. No, because I was up here and you were down there. Oh. Yeah, the sun is out, man. Go away. That was a fun camp out. I had to watch them try to make fire. You only got Let's go to drill steaks the first night because I was an adult. Uh -huh. So I got steak and they got non steak food. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong fucking button, god damn it. Why you on the dolphin the boy scout troop? Steak. <laughs> all physics is a science, but not all science is physics. Ooh, 
Ooh, fucked science. <laughs> Alright, weeb. <laughs> I enjoy weeb's comments. It's entertaining. Fuck this hill. Interesting question is, are you going to request something we actually have? Or am I just going to execute you for being a bitch? Execution! So the only thing with taming these guys is... Um... From what I understand... They can just request... Anything after the first tame? Mm. Okay, not anything, but there's a there's a list of things that they can request. Oh, Jacob, I wonder if they don't lay the law jades, but they steal them. No, nope, they lay them. Oh. He got them receipts. Did I pick the side that had? Oh no. I'm just on. I need I need a single male, <laughs> and I've only picked up females. Which is you know isn't bad, but they lay eggs faster if there's a male around. You need to breed the dinos. No 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 no. We're gonna cook them to get more dinos. And with, and the one I want specifically is with this level of kibble, is the beaver. Because otherwise, it just it just takes too fucking long to tame. Oh, oh, oh no, no, let's do. <gasps> we can use this to get argent argies, too. Holy shit. Mm. Oh, what else do we need for... We need to make... Prime meat jerky. Oh, we need citron... Citronol? Sap? Rare mushrooms and fiber. Hey, Dawson, when you get to that shrine, you wanna make our way to the gym, and then come back. Don't be too long, it's that day, which is a short day. Hmm. <laughs> Fucking, I lost one of my ear, misplaced one of my earbuds for two days. And because I hurt my shoulder, I didn't work out. So, for like four days, I didn't go and work out, and I went today, and felt, it felt fucking good. Austin hurt his legs during leg day. Well, yeah, that's leg day. You get used to that pain after a while. Yeah, not yet for me. It was like, I wanna go really hard, and I was like, that's a bad ah. idea. Yeah, it is. It's always a bad idea. I didn't actually go that hard, but I pushed myself, so I didn't just... So, cause I, wa I want to, like, lose weight, and I want to gain gain mass... Gain... Or tone out my muscles, at least, because they're not... They're untrained. Uh, I got up at 7, a little before 7, because I had to be to work at 8 today, which fucking sucked. <laughs> I shaved. Now have no face there. <sighs> yeah, I can't fucking see anything right now. I always shave when I have interviews. Which is a good thing to do, but I don't like shaving. I don't mind it. I mean, you're applying for a job, a quick trip, nobody fucking cares. I like to look good. It helps. I look good with a beard. I don't right. look good without one. You're right about that, too. I don't... Uh, I, I, I feel like if you shaved, I'd have, a, I'd have a moment like Ryan without a beard. Didn't you see me at, at Fastenal? I don't think you were ever 
Yeah, I was beardless at one point. Really? Yeah. Austin informed me that I have a butt chin today. Mm. You do, though. You have a butt chin. <laughs> and weeb, I like things a lot of ways. Oh. Why are these up there? Woman! Jesus! I wasn't what I thought it fucking was. Why would you do? Oh, God. You good? Just my mother putting um, things on top of audio equipment that should not be on top of audio equipment. <laughs> Namely a relatively large power strip and an ethernet cable just sitting on my turntable. Hey, quick question. Video yeah. card on top of the amp is a bad thing to do. Why would you need to do that? Because it's just where, where the cord's laid out. Video... Like an Elgato. I mean... It it's what I'm should... using to, to stream... So it's a capture switch. card. Yeah, the switch to the, um, to okay. the computer. Um... I mean, as long as it doesn't contribute extra heat to the amp, it doesn't matter. The only reason I was asking is because the Elgato has, like, crackly sound every now and then. But that could just be the capture, the sound capturing that I'm getting through. If... So... Hmm. If you're getting any kind of electronic interference, I mean, have you used it without it on top of the amp? No. Try that, see what happens. Because if it goes away, that means that's the amp fucking with it. Um, which it really shouldn't, but who knows. Mm -hmm. um, or if you're hearing that through your headphones through the amp, it could be the other way around. I, I, I actually, well, the, the stream hears it too, so it's not the amp. Okay. Yeah, I would try using it out of that. Otherwise, the other thing it could be, you've got a lot of cables going on there. Um, it could just be a very, it's a very electromagnetically intense environment, and they, they could just be interfering with each other, and there's not really a whole lot you can do about that, besides finding a way to shield the Elgato from said environment. Right. Yeah. Um, but it, it's, it's external outside of the computer, so, I don't know. At worst, the most extreme solution would be to, like, build it its own little Faraday cage. <laughs> and just set it on top of the amp. And then, uh, it would just live inside of its little aluminum jail. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah. we'll be back. We've been probably about, what, what do you think, an hour? At most, yeah. Patches just kind of tipped me in a hole. Hmm. Fuck you, Patches. Yeah, because cause I know that we are pretty much just going to be going, doing that, and then um, uh, then doing 15, 20-minute walk afterwards to kind of relax the muscles. I'm exhausted. That's going to suck for my legs right now, because it, it sucks to walk right now. <laughs> but... I might see you in, a, in an hour, Weeb. I might just go to bed. I haven't decided. Well, I'll decide when I get back from the gym. Peace out.